here at the Goodwill Outlet bins in Sioux City, spending the day with my sister. We'll go into the bins and we'll see what we can find. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Okay, straight over to the glass. You know me. Poor old kitty. Not a lot of vintage glass today. I also got some tips on where to go after this. I heard that. <laughs> Those are old time. Oh, how about some? Depends. Those are pretty glasses. I don't need them. Sounds like mayhem behind me. Kind of pretty. What the heck is this? Just ahead. And this is fits most sofas. Do you need a sofa cover? have a shoe inside there. I don't even think that's what's in there. I wonder if did Leslie, Brenda, did Leslie ever find her twister yeah, thing? Oh, okay. This is what, exactly what I was looking for. Oh, and now you found it here and you already bought one. Oh, well, I'll buy two. That's how it goes sometimes. She bought, oh. You buy something and then you find it even cheaper and more what you wanted someplace else. Ooh. Oh, Spider Man! That's just fabric. But I'm always looking for little shelves because I can, yep, I'm getting this. I can uh, make additions onto my storage this way. All right. Wireless alarm system. And I got something flashing down there. Disney on ice wand. High face. That was a fun game back when it first came out. Poker. World Series Poker. Hmm. Some Easter decor. All the books. I wonder if they ever decided. These are self-help books. I'm beyond help, so I'm not buying any. Some things just can't be changed. All right, what's in this one? Well, that's quite interesting. Probably a candle of some kind. Well, probably nothing I need.
Oh, those are pretty. This pillow is so heavy. What do you think this is? Baseball inspired? Whatever it is, it's really dirty, so back it goes. Fix it and forget it cookbook. The problem with cookbooks is that you can find so much stuff online now, so unless it's like a really old one, I don't pick them up. She's a pretty doll. Oh, that is a big coat. What's a lamb chop? It's a lamb chop dog toy. Birthday stuff. Ooh, I bet that goes to this doll over here. I'm gonna put it with her. There you go, mom. Oh my goodness. Cute little dog. Mine is Ooh, a bumper pad for a mini crib or a Must be some type of a church school sweatshirt. Yarn. Purse. What do you think is in here? Oh, look at all that yarn. Holy cow. about a kite. Not quite kite flying weather in South Dakota. It's another kite. Ooh, and we have a head. Kinds of these. So. Okay, so I'm working at this puzzle. Be calm. Yeah, right. Working on this puzzle at home, and I can't, it's the hardest puzzle I've ever done. Again, the snack trays. Anyways, I sit down to do it, and it just makes me nervous. It doesn't make me calm like it usually does. A glass grape bottle. I thought, oh, Anne of Green Gables. If you haven't read these books, they're old, I mean, but it's such a good story. So good. Lots of puzzles. Of course, you never know if they're all there. <laughs> Dinosaur riding costume. <laughs>
guess that's ribbon. Huh, this looks like Gettysburg, South Dakota dish, Centennial. passing. Um, so I had such a great feeling about the bins today, but um, right now I'm not having such a good feeling. Society. The things you also need to look for are leather books. Old books and leather books. Leather classics. So we left the bins and we are now at Sweet Repeats Flea Market. A place we've never been before. I'm quite excited. Let's go in. Okay, so looking around here, it's just like a little bit of everything. I think I might like this store. Mm. Well, blue tags are 50% off, red tags 25% off. Who doesn't like a sale? Look at that. Those fish are pretty cool. Can you see them? Oh, I like them. They'd be great in a, a fishing cabin or an ocean house. It's so cute. How much? Uh, 22 dollars, which is not bad. And they're all, I think they're all separate, so you could ship them easier. All right. I actually think these are pretty cool for Christmas, don't you? And are they electric or are they... 
don't know. No, they can't be electric. They are oil lamps. Hm. That's unusual. Oh, I like this. I always like the black and white speckled. Five dollars. It's cool. You know, I am out looking for a little um a little planter just for myself. So that might be something I'm looking for. Okay. Can you look up there? Look at that. It's a framed quilt, but look at that cool frame. It's only twenty dollars. That's unbelievable. I would never ship it, but I'm just kind of thinking for my own house. It's it's huge, but I don't know where I'd put it. I like it, and I also like this Christmas picture somebody made. I don't like the lights on it, but I could take the lights off. I think, and I really like that. Oh, this is cute. See, I could so do this stuff, and I just don't. That's only $15. How cute is that? Why are these shoes on the Santa? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh my gosh. How much is he? $10. <laughs> funny. We have more sand. Oh, these bears are cool. It's $150, but he's very cool. I might even look him up. Okay, look at that Santa Claus. He's so cool. But he is damaged. Ooh, this is pretty. Hmm. I truly have not. I don't know. Is it? No? It's very pretty. this chair. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, there's the blow mold. I mean, look at this one back here. Plastic Santa. I think he's a cookie jar. I truly think he is. I like it. <laughs> that has to be vintage. The trophy up there is cool, but it's $120. Oh, aren't they a little fancy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, is that right? Thirty dollars for Frosty there, and twenty dollars a piece for Mary and Joseph. I think oh. that. Huh. I like mine for free, but. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see, we got some type of a saint there, but I don't know who he is. Just plastic. There's an April birthday doll. Oh, 
Yeah, but she's not. She isn't, no. Not well today. Princess. Oh, the princess of love. Mm. Mm. Special. Well, we have Barbies and this very pretty ballerina light. Oh, this is cool. That'd be a great soap dish for a cabin. Yes, I've sold this before. Mm -hmm. I like these clocks. The, the, it looks like there's an actual fire in the fireplace. Oh, yeah. to the next booth. You guys, these are $20 a piece. They even have their halos on. Mm -hmm. huh. What the heck? Do I want to ship them? No. no. Mary's broken. Yeah, I mean, she's, broken? she's got a crack. Aww. See, look at this is cute. I don't ever think of these things. I guess I should go into Pinterest more. That's a pretty picture. I, it's probably not uranium glass. I should check it though. It's a cute little booth. That's a fancy coat. Two hundred and fifty. Yeah, I don't doubt it. It looks in great condition. Who are these? I don't know who those guys are. The Weagles. Little bit art. Lots of clothes, nothing like really vintage. It's some nice stuff. So, this video was shot just before Christmas. My sister Brenda and I needed a break. We just needed to have a, a girl's day. And it was a really fun day. We spent pretty much the whole day down in Sioux City. And we found some spots that we hadn't been to before. But first, the bins. Um, we found a few things at the bins. Not a lot. Um, there didn't, I don't know, it just, it wasn't a good day for the bins. But I did get this. It's like a wizard jar. You could use it as a planter, I guess. I never thought of that. But you could also just use it as a place to throw your change in or your keys at, at the end of the day. Um, I figured I paid about $1.25 for that. Um, they do have glass items now or anything breakable like that. They charge $1.25 a pound. Um, then I found um, some small Christmas things that I did pick up and ended up making a little craft because I had seen it someplace else. I think I'm getting a glare off these glasses. But um, seen it someplace else, and this is what it turned out like. It's just a salt, a salt shaker that I stuck a little tree in, decorated the top, and poured salt in it so it looked like snow. But then we went on to um, a place called Sweet Repeats. It is on Transit Avenue, and there are a lot of flea markets right around there, or consignment shops, um, antique shops. But I really liked this one. I picked up this Santa Claus. I think he's missing the Coca-Cola bottle that would go with him. So I am going to keep my eyes open for one, but I did make one out of hard clay just in case I can't find one. But I have almost a year to list him. And I paid $5. My glasses are fogging up like crazy. Um, 
So anyways, yeah, that's a really, really cute store. I would definitely go there. I thought their prices were amazing. It was well organized, um, a good place to stop. And I'll, I'll be back there again. We did go to a few other things, but our other places right in that um, area. But I just got tired of filming. Sometimes you just want to look and not have to film. So, um, Brenda, we were laughing so hard that day. Like, I don't know, we just had the giggles or something, but Brenda can be really funny. So it was a great day. So I did pick up this, um, left in apple or I'm sorry, this left, left in appetizer tree. And if you see the little holes in there, what you do is you stick a toothpick picks in the holes with like your little sausage bit or a cheese cube. On the end so this christmas tree would actually hold your appetizers at a holiday party there should be matching salt and pepper shakers also in the design of christmas trees but those weren't there i only paid five dollars for it um, probably will list that later on you know next fall then we found this antique yellow rose child's tea set and it's in excellent condition and it has six cups and six saucers with also the cream, sugar, and the teapot. No chips that I can see. It is not marked, but I am almost certain that it was probably made in Germany. Um, it's not a Japanese piece. I know that. And I know it's very old just by looking at the bottom, at the wear on the bottom. But this is adorable. And I only paid $10.50 for it, which was a real steal. So that's pretty much all we got. I mean, we picked up some things for ourselves. Brenda probably picked up a few things for her grandkids. Um, but it was just a fun day. So now on to the new year. And I don't really make resolutions. I mean, there's always things I'm thinking about changing in my life. And one of those things is I'm going to travel more. Um, I'm heading out to... Portland, Oregon to see my new grandson in just a little while. We'll be out there a whole week. And then a group of my girlfriends, uh, girlfriends that we've been friends forever since high school. And we're heading to Florida for a week in February. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm even thinking in the fall of maybe doing a trip to Germany. I have always been a, a researcher of my family tree. And I would like to go back and see some of the places in Germany um, that my ancestors came from. So not necessarily resolutions, but just things I'd like to do this year. Also, I am not going to be making as many movies because of my travels, um, but I'm still going to post movies. I'm still going to post videos of, of what's going on um, in the reselling world. So, so that kind of wraps up this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do that and give the video a thumbs up. Um, I also love answering comments. So if there's something you want to know or something that you saw that I may be able to remember the price that it was, just make a comment and I'll get back to you. All for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.